Hey, what's happening, family? It's your leather cowboy right here in the dirty, dirty south. Right here at Premier Leather Crafters. Uh, uh, and, and I'm still setting up the shop, so you guys forgive me. Uh, I did a little procrastination, and I was a little lazy. I had a lazy day yesterday. Uh, but we're still setting everything up. But I wanted to make sure I sat right up under the uh, the light so you guys can see this and tell. Still running power and running plugs to the other lights over the workstation. So bear with me. I'm going to make it worth your while, worth the wait. And But I wanted to continue this series with the Hey Dudes. The Hey Dudes. Uh, the Hey Dudes shoes and showing you how to custom make these so you guys can take advantage of this money that a lot of crafters have been killing the game on right now. So, as you guys know from the first day, we show you how to do the pattern and get your pattern uh, turned over, uh, how to lay out that pattern for different sizes or whatever. And we came right back. Uh, here's the pattern. Boom. Show you how to do that. And what I did, I went ahead and tried to speed the process up because I didn't want you guys to be sitting and watching me draw. So, I went ahead, transferred my drawing over to my drawing book and I encourage you guys to invest in one of these for several reasons which I will cover at a later date on the value of all of your artwork and paperwork uh, keeping keeping these in books I have several of these over the years that uh, even I even have some where I was drawing on composition books because you can get those for real cheap back to school for like a quarter and a drawing is a drawing. You can draw on paper. Well, you know, when you was in school, you was drawing on notebook paper. It really didn't make a difference about a drawing book. But uh, you can get those composition books for about a quarter, 70 pages. So that's 70 pages of your artwork right there. And I'm I, again, I'll fill you guys in on that piece of the game later on to where you can get to the point to where you can actually sell your patterns. Ah, let's keep it moving. But I've already transferred my pattern over to the art book. Uh, and then I came up with this nice little basic Sheridan drawing uh, here where uh, totally everything is if it was going to be on the finished product. There's my outside borderline, my interior borderline, and then you can see that I broke this up into two different pieces. And the reason being, ladies and gentlemen, for you, those of you who are out there beginners or intermediate, don't make more work on yourself than necessary. Because... In this world, uh, this leather crafting world that we're in, I, when I first started out, I wanted to fill up and just go bananas with work. And that's not always the case. Sometimes simplicity is the best option to go and it's not as busy. Uh, it's a bad habit for all beginner uh, leather crafters to where you just want to make your work busy and just showcase every little tool that you got into your arsenal. But you don't have to do that. So this is reason being. Now here, um, you can see the nice little Sheridan scroll here. Uh, that's taking up the majority of the piece. And we'll just do some nice little backgrounding here to kind of beat that down. And I'm still going to come in and do a little tooling work with a little basket weave tool or maybe a camouflaging tool. But it's the minimum work. Uh, so what it's doing, though, is incorporating the stamping and the carving into a piece. Now, depending on your skill set, that's the way that you want to go. Now, if you're still a car, a, a crafter who is stamping, don't be dismayed because check this out. You can put two different patterns of stamps onto your Hey Do tops. You can go with a basket weave here and you can go with a camouflage here. Or you can take that same basket weave tool and do a geometric shape into the top portion. Uh, put your initial of your customers there and then do a nice little geometric basket weaving tool. Now, if you guys can go back and look at the other videos that I've already done that goes into detail about how you can uh, make your tools work for you. Go back and check those videos out. Those videos have some viable valuable information in there of how you can just take this basic eight stamps and you can create 72 different patterns with just eight stamps so beginners that's those videos are mainly for you some of you intermediates and some of you old heads who went straight into carbon but you never got around to dealing with stamps so but what it is that information that's in those videos can show you how you can do a lot with a little bit 
So don't be dismayed or be intimidated by sharing a design and think that, oh man, I don't know how to draw. Don't worry about that. You can do two different pat stamp patterns on these uh, tops and you can still make the work look extremely professional and, uh, 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 and still command the high dollar value for those. So at this point, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what I'm gonna do, I have my tracing film. I'm going to cut out a piece of the tracing film to put on top of my pattern because we're going to transfer this pattern directly onto the film and then it's going to go to the leather. Now, one thing that I want to note for you guys is when you're doing these hey dudes, you want to use, um, I think, the prime weight for these is anywhere from four to five, no more than six to seven. It can hold up to the stamping work. Uh, the the um, the six to seven can hold up more to the carving, but your four to five can definitely hold up to the stamping. Uh, but just keep in mind, you're not driving nails, ladies and gentlemen. You're just making an impression with your stamping tools. So you can get away with four to five. It's still lightweight enough to where you can put on the shoes and the shoes don't feel like a pair of Timberland boots. So, or you can go six to seven, no more than six to seven, possibly five, six, and they can hold up to the carbon work. Now what you want to do into that is you want to go back with your painter's tape and your duct tape uh, and take the flesh side of your leather. This keeps the leather from uh, um, breaking down or any, any integrity spots. Uh, spots that have integrity issues doesn't cause your piece to lose shape or warp or anything like that now this is one reason I'm gonna point this out this is one reason why a lot of your more advanced crafters uh, go with your Herman Oak and your premium oaks and your superior oak leathers because they don't have to worry about those integrity issues and the integrity issues in the leather is where they have separated the meat from the flesh and sometimes the flesh might not have wanted to give away from the, from the meat part and it left a soft spot. Especially when you're stamping. If you stamp, if you guys have been crafting or for any length of time and you've hit that spot that has integrity issues and your punch, your stamp goes straight through it or if you're carving and your knife goes straight through it. So this is one reason why you want to make sure that you tape that. Uh, to keep that but uh, I'm gonna uh, and there's another video that I've done on showing you how you can buy an economy brand hide and still look for those integrity issues so you'll know what pieces you can work and how to work around those issues so you don't lose any profits or any of your money uh, with those pieces you can very well ladies and gentlemen trust me when I tell you Minimize your money on the front end to maximize your profits on the back end by learning how to choose a nice economy grade leather at a great cost. Hidden secret, side note, don't mean to lose focus, but I got to tell you this. There is no difference in between an A, B, C, or D grade hide. The same person that grades the, the A hides, he's grading the D hides. But you can find an economy, I mean, a, a, a uh, let's just say you have a superior oak piece. But the, the rancher had his brand that, was, that uh, is on to the flesh side. That superior oak piece or Herman oak piece, now Herman oak, you won't find that in the, in the issues. Those are all free reign uh, uh, cows. Uh, so you won't find brands or anything on that. They start putting them, the clips in the ears now. But... Uh, uh, for some of the other less lesser uh, farmers or cattle ranchers, you know, that still brand, that superior piece, just because it had a brand on it, it went from an A grade to a C or D grade. Because in the leather industry, you can't use that brand. Ah, wait a minute, put a pen in that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, crafters have now started incorporating the brand of the rancher that had that cow before it was processed. A lot of people are now liking the authenticity uh, uh, of that brand being incorporated into their piece. That tells the whole entire world that that's a real leather piece. So don't sleep just because you go and you see a piece that has a brand in it. 
learn how to use that brand and incorporate that into the artwork or into just having that 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 brand the focal point of your piece we'll do that video on another time let's get back i'm going to pause this trace out my pattern tape the back get everything transferred and printed and ready to start stamping and carving so i'm going to pause the video right now and i'll see you guys in a hot second 